Hey guys, it's Alejandra here and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a little bit more of a informative kind of educational video, something that they didn't teach you in middle school, sex ed, nothing, didn't get nothing out of it. So today we're going to talk a little bit about what you should never say or ask a trans person. I wanted to make this video not only because I love talking about trans topics, but I think it's really important to kind of educate yourself on sex, gender, and orientation, and everything that has to do with like being a human. Um, these are things that we never really got taught in middle school or high school. Um, so this is gonna be a really great information to not only get to know maybe a little bit more about yourself, but the people around you. So some of these ideas are gonna be from my own experience, but I can probably say that a lot of other trans people will more than likely agree that these are things that you should never say or ask a trans person. Um, some of these might be a little bit more geared towards trans women, while others are more for trans people in general. Number one, and this is probably one of the most common things I get asked, if not on the daily, at least every other day, depending on how social I'm being. Number one, do you have a dick? Um, It's just very common sense and it almost feels violating to even ask anybody about like their genitals and stuff. This is a, a very disrespectful question, not only because this is a private part on somebody's body, but this is information that you feel you deserve to know or you have the right to know. Not only is this a violation of someone's privacy, but it is also just really uncomfortable to be asked about your genitals. I honestly don't understand what like crosses someone's mind when they think that it's okay to ask somebody about their genitals. So unless we're both mutually consenting to being sexually active, you do not need to know what's in my pants. Um, another reason is if you're really close to me, but even then it's like, why are you asking me about my junk? You know, like awkward. Trans, cis, whatever um, gender, don't ask people about their genitals period. So number two, and this one's going to be more so geared to trans women. Um, I personally despise when guys do this. Um, honestly, when girls do it, I don't mind it as much because I don't feel like it's as much of an like either uncomfortable tactic for somebody or an attack. But calling a trans woman bro or dude is just unnecessary. Um, you could call me my name or you could call me any female pronoun. It just has a masculine connotation and just infers that you're viewing and perceiving the person as a masculine gender. The person might like to argue that these terms are gender neutral in their world and with the people that they uh, socialize with. These terms are not gender neutral and can possibly be offensive and as a attack almost. Um, I feel like it's a way for especially men to feel more comfortable in socializing or conversating with people like us. I'm gonna start calling every guy that calls me bro sis and see how that works out. Number three, what was your old name? So uh, I like to refer to this as a dead name and I call it that for a reason. It is something that is in the past, is irrelevant and unnecessary knowledge and information for you to know um, unless I openly want to disclose that information. It isn't something that we are obligated to share. I feel that a lot of these questions are very inhumane because of the fact that people feel so obligated to know certain information about someone all because of their gender. 
So number four, are you getting any surgeries or the surgery? Um, a lot of people feel like as a trans person, you have like this cookie cutter process that you have to go to to be considered trans or assume that there is a time frame in which you must do things in a certain order or to be trans you have to do A, B, and C and it's really not even like that. It is all depending on the individual and what they feel as a trans person is necessary to make them feel more confident with their identity and their body. I feel like this information is very private and personal and isn't available for just anybody to know. Surgeries are just an option for trans people to have the option to align their identity with the outside. And for some trans people, they are not necessary. Surgeries are just one option to help relieve gender dysphoria for a lot of trans people. Some people might find themselves comfortable having a penis or not having to take hormone replacement therapy to identify as their gender. Every individual has their own personal journey and perceives what being a woman or being a man is to them. And at the end of the day, it's none of your business what other people do with their bodies. Number five, you look like a real girl, aka passable. So for a lot of trans people, this can be very offensive and let me explain to you why. This statement is not only transphobic because of its cisnormative ideas, but it infers that being cis is a superior gender. The standard of beauty, we can say, in order for us to be treated like humans, we must appear remotely cis, that is just not every trans person's goal. We want to feel comfortable in our bodies and look the best that we feel that we can. This statement also leads me to believe as a trans person, I could not be perceived as beautiful unless I remotely appear cis. And this leads me to my sixth thing you should never say to a trans person. You're beautiful for being a transgender woman slash man. This one's pretty obvious. I don't think I had to get far into this one. Um, I believe that as a society, we are engraved with unrealistic ideas and expectations of beauty and status only leave us competing against each other when in the end what makes us beautiful are our individual unique characteristics that represent and make us who we are as people. This pretty much concludes this video. If you have any questions on any of the topics we touched on in today's video, don't be shy, leave a comment. Don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up. And if you wanna be a sweet little angel, don't forget to subscribe for notifications when I post future videos. I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.